So welcome everyone today to a new episode of the Old School Cannabis Project with myself, Blue Skies and Rich. This episode is called Copycat, CRISPR, Cancer and Cunts, the Danger of Genetically Modified Cannabis. Now, why have I called it that? Well, really, this episode is to both educate those who know nothing about the subject matter and to clarify a recent post, because I'm aware some of my friends, people I like, respect on Instagram, do actually grow copycats genetics. And this isn't an attack solely on copycat. It's an attack on any person in the breeding industry who is using CRISPR to create mm -hmm. seeds. So CRISPR, CRISPR is a gene editing technique for producing genetically modified plants. And you can see on screen this book here, Seeds of Destruction, The Hidden Agenda of Genetic Manipulation. This skillfully researched book focuses on how a small social political American elite seeks to establish its control over the very basis of human survival, the provision of our daily bread. Control the food and you control the people. As that piece of shit is now dead, hopefully. They say he's dead, but we never know. Kissinger, as he said. So this is no ordinary book about the perils of GMO. Engdahl takes the reader inside the corridors of power, into the back rooms of the science labs, behind closed doors in the corporate boardrooms. He reveals a world of profit-driven political intrigue, government corruption and coercion, where genetic manipulation and the patenting of life forms are used to gain worldwide control over food production. The book is an eye-opener, a must-read for all those committed to the causes of social justice and world peace. Now, as I was saying, I made a post recently saying anybody who's growing copycat stuff is a cunt if they know that he uses CRISPR. Now, I'm not out there just trying to offend people. In fact, I'm out there trying my best to save people from harming their health. Now, I read this book here a long time ago. Do you want to enlarge the copy of the book, Rich, so people can know exactly what to look out for on Amazon or wherever? This book here, Seeds of Destruction, The Hidden Agenda of Genetic Manipulation by F. William Engdahl. I'm telling you, it's a fucking excellent book. It is so thoroughly researched and backed up with tons and tons of footnotes, references. Nothing that he says is supposition or claims. Every single part of it is thoroughly re researched, documented, backed up. It's not up for debate or discussion particularly. Now, I suggest everybody does buy the book or reads the book or downloads it on a PDF, but I suggest everybody does read it. But for those who don't, what it basically tells in a nutshell is how people like the Rockefellers funded into existence, beginning with um, Golden Rice, I believe, in the 70s, that was supposed to have, you know, extra vitamin A in the rice that will help cure plenty of diseases in third world countries where people are vitamin deficient, blah, blah, blah. Now the Rockefellers do not give a single fuck about any third world country or any of us. They don't give a single fuck. All they care about is wiping us out and controlling the ones that remain. Simple as that. So it talks about how the Rockefellers funded into existence the whole GM thing. It talks about uh, how one of the most foremost scientists in the UK, a Polish scientist, was absolutely ruined and destroyed by Tony Blair and Bill Clinton when he spoke out against GM on the BBC. He made very cogent uh, reasons why he personally would never consume any GM product. And he was immediately sacked when Bill Clinton contacted Tony Blair Absolute two of the biggest cunts ever to steal oxygen, by the way. And but Tony Blair then contacted uh, this Polish scientist's uh, unit and got him fired, kicked out. And anybody who ever worked with him was never allowed to speak to him again, or they would get fired too. So they've destroyed from the very beginning any arguments against GMO. Now, for the rest of the book, I'll just say this in a nutshell, the conclusion was. Any genetic manipulation, tinkering, tampering with the natural order of the genetic sequences put in any living organism by the creator God will result in tumours. If you uh, mutate the gene of anything and then you consume 
those mutated genes, it will cause mutation in you. Now, Monsanto, they ran 90 day tests on lab rats who consumed GMO grain. They cut it at 90 days because tests showed that after 90 days, after three months of consumption of GMO products, then huge tumors would result in these mice or rats that fed it. Same is true of any mammal. Any mammal consumes genetically modified corn, grain, vegetables, will end up with cancer after a period of time. And it's not because all oh, these evil cunts out there are, you know, putting in some kind of cancer gene or anything, anything like that into it. It's the simple act of altering the DNA sequence from its original state. Just any form of tinkering with the DNA sequence of any animal or any, particularly we're talking about seeds, anything that we grow and eat and consume, okay? Anything that is GM will result in tumors. Now you've been fucking warned. And that's the whole point of this, whole point of the posts I make is to try and prevent people in their ignorance consuming GM cannabis and, you know, it's all these cunts like Rockefeller. I've said it before, whether you believe in it or not, I couldn't give the slightest shit. I just tell the facts of the truth. These Satan worshipping cunts who work for Satan, all Satanists do is the law of reversal. They try and mock God. They try to destroy his creation. They try to do the opposite of everything in the Bible. And so what do we have in cannabis? We have a plant that cures cancer. Right now, as it stands, ca cannabis cures cancer. It kills tumours. If the fucking Satanist piece of shit have their way, the cancer will be caused by the cannabis rather than cured by the cannabis. And again, I don't care if anybody believes this or not. These are the facts. You need to wake up and understand what is going on. And whether you, if you want to take Satan and God out of the equation, fine. The facts remain. If you consume genetically manipulated, genetically modified seeds and it's, you know, it's, it's resulting offspring, you will end up with cancer. So that is why I call copycat cunt. If copycat reads this book and doesn't quit using CRISPR, he's a fucking cunt. That's all you can say about him. Anybody else who reads this book and continues to use CRISPR is a fucking cunt and you need to boycott them. And anybody who's listened to this who continues to grow and consume, particularly because I don't believe he uses CRISPR on all his lines, but the lines he states he uses CRISPR, if you read this book and then continue to use it, you're a cunt. If you grow his stuff and put it out into the public for other people to consume, you're an even fucking bigger cunt. And that is probably all I'm going to say on the matter. So I'm not out to offend anybody. I'm purely out to educate people to try and prevent them causing harm to their health by the ignorant consumption of a harmful product created by people who are either thick as fuck or evil hearted pieces of shit who only care about money, which is about 90% of the fucking cannabis breeding industry anyway. You can take the evil hearted out for some, but all of them only give a fuck about money. And if you carry on supporting people who use CRISPR, you're part of the problem too. Because as this technology develops and probably all these fucking pricks come out with different coloured cannabis or this fucking ratio of this, that and the other, anything that is created using the CRISPR needs to be avoided. But I can see an uneducated mass of young people attracted to the claims that these people make about what these seeds can do. Once they've, oh, they, I use CRISPR to make it fucking extra fucking resinous, extra this, that and the other, because that's what it's going to be. It's supposed, it's going to be bigger, faster, stronger. It's going to be this more brighter. It's going to be louder. It's going to be shit like yeah, that. They're trying to like mix in the pan the pumpkin genetics to like get more yield or something like that. That's what I heard. That that doesn't surprise nothing that I've not heard that, but nothing that anybody tells me will surprise me in this fucked up world we live in. You know? Yeah. 
you know, and unfortunately, we live in a world where two thirds of the fucking needs to fucking drop this shit out, and they need to call out fucking concert copycat and anybody else because he won't be the only one. There may be others now. I don't know. I don't follow. Every, you know, I, by and large, try to stay out of looking at what other people are doing. But when I see shit like this, I will not keep quiet. Anybody, yeah. you know, honestly, I really do pity the fool who fucking, after listens, listening to this, carries on supporting copycat, growing his shit, smoking his shit, or breeding with his shit. All right? It's as simple as that. Read the book, educate yourself, or don't read the book, listen to me, and do yourselves a fucking favour. But that's pretty much all I've got to say on this topic. Avoid fucking CRISPR, or you're going to get cancer. That's it. So that's really it, fam. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to make the point known that CRISPR causes cancer. It's really not up for debate. Um, but thank you for listening. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the next episode.